As we walking across it Certain shit I cannot see after I saw it I promise I let go of everything I wanted Once you turn your back on me I'm paying on the target, you know Van Gogh with the way that I brush it off No use of breathing life in it if love is lost Look at me surprised like it's something wrong While I pour the gas and get to light and shit like fuck it all I'm hearing you out my baby talking shit Experiences with you turn me to somebody that I thought I'd never be Let's get to the root of it, I don't focus on fun and leaves Gave you my arm, tell me what the fuck you got for me Arms used to be open like the options that you kept Knew how I was rocking, you were rocking on the fence So I chose for you, bet you didn't predict how this would end Bad times, good luck, hope you never love again Started a bank track Recalled a ton of times I was backstabbed Thought if you would buy me for some me What's up? I hope you guys are having a great day As you can tell Hold on As you can tell by All the shoes laying out here And the ones that are on the floor I'm filming a shoe, a shoe video, a video about shoes. Everybody loves shoes. Um, I was just gonna run you through some of the shoes that I have. I used to have a lot more, but I've skated them and had to chuck them, get rid of them, just because I destroyed them so much. Some of these I haven't gotten rid of yet, but some I destroyed from skateboarding and I turned them into yard shoes, you know, shoes to mow and whatever into and ones I wore fishing everything else and skated them and now they're just sitting here and I use them to mow and like I was saying but I'm just gonna run you through some of the shoes kind of what they are why I got them obviously I got them because I liked them you know that's a given but and I might give you a time frame of when I got them, some of them I know. Uh, these are some Supra Muska sky, uh, sky Tops, and they're kind of tall. You'd think a normal high top is about up here. I, I think they're a little taller than your average high top, like Vans. And these ones I never skated I'm not a I'm not a big high top person to skateboard in as you can tell most of my shoes are like low tops um, I have skated mids and stuff I like those but high tops I just don't like skating in. it's just personal personal preference for me but I like wearing these around as you can tell they're in pretty good condition because I wear them when it's nice out, I wear them around and stuff, and I never really wore them in the winter when I lived in Iowa, so they never saw snow, really. Um, I just wear them whenever I want, but I just don't skate in them. So, this is probably, like, my... I keep all my shoes pretty nice, but these ones are probably the nicest, and then... Um, These are Nike Flights. I bought these when I was in like high school and I wore them and stuff. I'm not a big basketball person. Jared always is like, you don't play basketball. Why do you have those? You don't have to play basketball to have Nike Flights or any Nike shoe, really. That's pointed at you, Jared. And then I got these Nikes, which I've done a review on these not this specific pair but colors like it uh i just like this type of nike um check skate shoe i've had probably six pairs of them these are the black ones with the white nike swoosh i haven't skated in these uh 
Those are nice as well, still in good condition. Uh, these are the same uh, Nike SB checks, except they're all black, which I like. All black shoes, or I like black. I like black shoes a lot, as you can tell. And then I went through where I was getting different color shoes, which I'm not big on bright colors, but these ain't too bright, but they're out of the ordinary, which I like. Um, these are some Vans. There you can see them a little better. I'm a Vans person. I like, I like Vans. And then these ones. These are the Vans Natural Palm skate shoe. Um, when they were selling these, they had them in all black with a gray palm tree on them. They had um, white ones with the black, I think black palm tree, and then they had these cream color ones. And the cream color ones are the ones that stuck out to me the most, which I never had a shoe this color, so I that's what grabbed my attention. And it just, this color with the design that's on the shoe really let the detail show of the palm trees and stuff. The other ones, they kind of just didn't see it. So if you like your skate shoes, as you can call it, like grabbing people's attention, these ones paid the most attention to detail, which I, I got some stories about these. I'll run through it real quick, but I would wear these. I got them when I was in high school. All right, uh, I'm, I'd wear them to school and I'd always get sent to the principal's office or threatened uh, to get OSS and have to leave school because of my shoes or some of my shirts that I would wear. So these shoes had the stories of getting me in trouble, you could say, in high school, even though there wasn't really nothing wrong with them. The teacher said that they were pot leaves, which I guess you can say they resemble pot leaves, but they're palm trees. They say natural palm tree on the website. That's what, that's what helped me get out of trouble on that one. Uh, when I went to the principal's office and explained to them and they looked it up, that helped me get out of trouble a little bit. But these shoes, I guess you could say, got me into some trouble. Uh, they're like, I know Vans makes thinner type of shoes. These have the fat tongue on them. So they kind of look just a little more bulky up on the top. And then they, you can also buy Vans that are like thin. You know, these ones are thicker with the tongue. These ones got the thin tongue on them. And then these ones I bought. I did try skating in these, but now I just wear them out and about and they're just kind of an everyday type of shoe. I don't mow lawns in them or nothing because I don't want them to get dirty, but I just, or like green, when you mow lawns, your shoes get green, you know. But I have tried to skate in these, but the way they're so thin on the back as you can probably tell there they're just thin canvas material and you have no really ankle support or heel support back here just like these shoes it's thicker you have none of that it's just canvas and it can bend so you have no support when you're skateboarding and i've i've rolled my ankle pretty good in these shoes and the reason I got these is they were limited edition uh, Nikes that they don't make anymore. That's kind of how I bought some of my old shoes as well. Is And I'm, I'm the same with clothes. I kind of try to go for things that they don't make anymore. So if you have it, you have it. And not a lot of other people might have that same type of jacket or shoe. Granted, people probably have those, but it's not like walking around and you're seeing just 
black classic bands, or you might see these all the time, you know, but a lot of these shoes you really don't see all over. And then these ones, these are some Fallen's. I like these because you didn't have a lot of the eyelids, like your most of your shoes got like six, seven, eight eyelids, and these only had three. So I like that. And then when you were skating, you didn't, uh, you were doing your kickflips and stuff. You didn't get up there. And I like suede shoes. They don't rip too bad. Um, I did skate these just a couple times. And yeah, they got roughed up on the edges and stuff, but they still look good to wear. They're not completely destroyed or have holes going through them. Then I got shoes on the floor. I got way too many shoes, man. Not as much as I used to have. I used to probably have like 26. Now I think I got like... I think I got like 10. 16. I got like 16 pairs of shoes now. But these ones... Just looking at these, you can tell that they're different than a normal Nike shoe. Considering Nike shoes are all different. You take a Nike Janoski shoe and they look different than the Czech shoes or like the Shane O'Neal's kind of look like the Janoski's as well. But then if you go to like P-Rod shoes, they look different. And these are some Nike P-Rods. They're from like the year 2003 so they're more bulky uh they're kind of like the how the old skate shoes used to be you had big puffy skate shoes and now you have like thin more kind of detailed skate shoes with these you wouldn't have as much board feel as per se like these or any of the other ones. They used to make the shoes like that, prime example. If you take these big chunky boys, less board feel on the DCs, and then you take like the thinner ones, you got more board feel. I had a pair of these, which are stray shoes, uh, by Jamie Thomas, and then I had some Adidas slip-on uh, match quartz. I love those. They had the toe cap on the edge. They're destroyed. They used to be black. Now they're like an ugly brown color from the sun, just destroying them. I skated them. The thing I hate that happened to those shoes is when you skate slip-ons, you got the little elastic band here and I ripped the elastic band on the shoe so then one shoe was still tight to my foot one shoe was loose it was loosey-goosey as I like to call it so whenever I'd skate that was my flick foot my shoe would jiggle around so they just went into my I fished in them I did yard work in them and now they're just full of holes from just wearing them every single day for like two years and like these ones. I love skating these. Surprisingly enough, I never did rip through the elastic band, so they weren't too loose, but I did get a big hole pretty quick in these ones. I didn't even skate these that long, but I feel slip-ons rip quicker than any other shoe uh, for my, my personal preference, that's how I feel. But yeah, I got a giant hole here, and this is like the last layer that's about to rip through, and then it's just one giant hole. And the big thing about being a skateboarder, too, is if you like wearing a pair of shoes and you get a hole in it, you wear a pair of shoes with a hole in it, and it rains, and your sock gets wet. And so, that's also how I go with my shoes as well. 
when I'm going to wear them on a certain day. I'm like, I'll wear these ones so my sock don't get wet in the rain. But yeah, that's all I got for this video for you guys. Just a rundown of my shoes. Kind of just not really throwing information out there. Just kind of giving you guys a quick rundown. Not making it too boring. Gave you some stories. Those ones got me in trouble. I bought those um, those supers at Mall of America for my, I think like, 18th birthday. So I've had a lot of these shoes for a long time. And some shoes I went out, like the limited edition Nikes, I went out and bought them when I got my first job. I was like, first paycheck, some was going towards a new pair of shoes. Uh, but yeah, also you can find good shoes I don't know how many people go to thrift stores that watch my channel. I know a lot of people actually do, but like the colored vans that I uh, showed a little bit ago, my mom and dad found those cheap at a thrift store, like brand new. And you can go buy the same ones for 75 bucks, which I saw at a mall last weekend, but those are brand new. Like they were only worn a couple times and they got them pretty cheap. Just like these Adidas. I found these at a thrift store, pretty much brand new. All I needed to do was get washed. I washed them up and they're white, like they came out of a box. They're dirty now because I wore them, but I got them looking brand new. I might title this like shoe collection of 22 or something, but drop a like, share the video. It helps out. This is kind of a boring video, if you may say, but I'm sure some people might enjoy it. I appreciate you guys. Like the video, share with a friend. Someone that likes shoes, skateboarding, or whatever, just share it. Remember, dream big, live bigger. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. The same, no, you can't compare me. I don't belong in the box. Don't try to play me, no, I'm not friendly. This is everything I got. Ain't no plan.